on Songs of Praise, this week we're celebrating harvest as we give thanks for all that God has provided throughout the year. And I've come here to Kenya to find out how the humble Irish potato is transforming lives. Also on today's programme, we'll be meeting the men who risk their lives bringing food to our tables. We take to the streets with the group who make sure that none of the harvest goes to waste. There's music from Stuart Tynand, and our choirs will be singing some great harvest hymns. Welcome to Songs of Praise and welcome to Kenya. Straddling the equator, Kenya is home to almost 50 million people. Although it has the strongest economy in Central Africa, Kenya is still a developing country and four out of every ten people live in absolute poverty. Agriculture dominates Kenyan life. Despite only one-fifth of the land being suitable for growing, 80% of the workforce are involved in farming or food processing. Because of its warm climate, crops can be grown throughout the year. Across the country, there are millions of small farms where families grow food, mainly to feed themselves. The people of Kenya have many reasons to give thanks for a good harvest. We'll have lots more from Kenya throughout the programme, but we'll start with the first of our great Harvest Thanksgiving hymns. Our choirs have gathered in St Patrick's Church in Jordanstown, and they're singing that harvest favourite, We Ply the Fields and Scatter. Most African countries, Kenya struggles to produce enough food to feed its growing population. Potatoes, or Irish potatoes as they are known in Kenya, are an important crop. In the last decades, a combination of poor farming techniques and climate change has badly affected the size of the potato harvest. 
Derek Rolston is working with Kenyan farmers to help change that. So Derek, what brought you, an Irish potato farmer, here to Kenya? Well, I'd have to say, Claire, that that was a very strong sense of call or conviction from God to, I suppose, come and help others who were a lot less well off than ourselves. I had a feeling that the skills and abilities that I had learned through farming at home could be of use to small scale farmers here in Kenya. Just how important are potatoes to the lives of Kenyan people? The potato is such a wonderful food source. It's very rich in vitamins and minerals. They're the second most important food crop in Kenya and having a good crop of potatoes is the difference between your family living in full nutrition or living with malnutrition. So what has caused the potato harvest to get smaller? Potato farmers in Kenya couldn't get access to quality certified seed and so they were planting the same crop that they harvested over and over again. The problem there is that you get a build-up of diseases within the crop itself and it's passed on from one generation to the next. If you keep multiplying generation after generation, the yield will drop enormously. Working with other farming experts, Derek and his colleagues adopted a back-to-basics approach. They started by growing high-quality seed potatoes. As we started to multiply quality seed and give that to farmers, immediately, without anything else, their yields started to double uh, and sometimes triple. Considering that it has had no rain, it's absolutely amazing what you have here. When we started to teach them better methods and planting methods, spacing, where to apply the fertiliser, how to manage the crop, their production went up phenomenally. Isabella Paul was one of the first farmers to benefit from Derek's guidance. Since the death of her husband, Isabella has been responsible for feeding her extended family. What difference has meeting Derek made to your life, Isabella? Before I met Derek and given up digging and planting potatoes because I was getting nothing. Isabella has been involved with the scheme for several seasons with amazing results. I started with 10 kg and now I'm producing 10,000 kgs. Wow. Yeah, That's it's huge. Very huge. <laughs> with an abundant crop, Isabella can now sell her extra potatoes, which benefits the entire family. My children are in school. Mm -hmm. I'm able to pay school fees. Uh, and ve I'm very much happy. The first time I met Delhi, I found as if he is a, a man of God. So he had put us from nowhere to somewhere. Isabella's story is so good to hear because it shows that all the work that we have put in is making an impact. It's transforming lives, it's putting more food on the table for Kenyan people and that for me as a farmer from, from Ireland is, is a great satisfaction. Lord, we stand in the shallows of all you have given. Grateful for mercy, yet hungry for more. For the power of grace to go out from this place to the ends of the earth. We have praised you with passion and worshipped in wonder. Thrilled by your spirit and fed by your word. Now to fully delight in the riches of Christ We must go to the world For you live in the streets of the city You stand with the weak and the needy You walk with the homeless and hungry and poor And your hands are the hands I am lifting, your voice is the life I am living. Your love knows to meet them, but how will they know? Unless I am willing to go. Lord, where are you hungry and where are you? 
you thirsty Naked in prison with no one to care To give of our best to the poor and oppressed Is to give back to you So cause us to see with the eyes of the Savior Give us a heart that will love as you love Courageous compassion in words and in action Brings hope to the world For you live in the streets of the city You stand with the weak and the needy You walk with the homeless and the hungry and poor And your hands on the hands I am lifting Your voice is the life I am giving Your love longs to meet them But how will they know That you live in the streets of the city You stand with the weak and the needy Yeah.